A tense day at one Union County school. Investigators say what started as a mother looking for help ended with a manhunt that put the school on lockout status. 7 News' Alessandra Young explains what happened. Here at Jonesville Elementary and Middle School, they were on a secure protocol all day on Wednesday. It happened after a woman brought her child into school, spoke with the school resource officer, and told them about an ongoing domestic incident. Jonesville Elementary and Middle School didn't let anyone in or out of the school all day Wednesday. Uh, once we had our students in the building, we went to a secure protocol, which is uh, outside doors locked, no uh, entrance uh, from outsiders. Uh, but our students were able to do their normal operations. The sheriff's office spent the day searching for Paul Lee Miller, the suspect in what the sheriff calls a domestic incident. Started at home and, and, and continued while they went down the road. And, uh, and then when she got here, I, I'm just assuming she had enough. And, and so that's when she confronted SRO and told him. The sheriff says Miller followed the woman inside the school when she dropped off her child. He then entered the school and was escorted out. He started running across the football field and headed into the woods and he, he chased him for a for a little bit, but he got away from him, and from there we actually started had to call those resources in. Sheriff Jeff Bailey says Miller was already on the radar for previous charges. Actually, he has warrants on him for first degree burglary and also probation warrants out of uh, Columbia. Sheriff Bailey says they used helicopters, canines, and other law enforcement agencies to help catch him. They caught up with Miller in an open field on Meansville Road on Wednesday evening. Eric Childers with the school district says students were dismissed from the school with no issues, and he says things should be back. Back to normal at the school on Thursday. Thankfully, nobody was hurt, and Childers says it's all thanks to the sheriff's office. They were called, they were on the scene in no time flat. Um, our students and staff felt safe. Our community is very, very grateful for everything they do to keep our kids safe. Sheriff Bailey says Miller will be facing other charges for disturbing school. He says they'll know more after they look into the domestic incident and continue with their investigation. In Union County, Alessandra Young, 7 News.